Hi everyone, so the fragrance that I am reviewing today is Aphrodite by Soki London. So this is another fragrance that launched um, as part of the summer season. I am super super late in reviewing this fragrance obviously because it came out like in June or July. But this is one summer release that I definitely wanted to try. As I've said in a previous video, I haven't, I didn't try every single new summer release that came out. Um, but the two I did try was this one and also Travel in Paradise by Memoirs, per uh, Memoirs Perfumes. And I absolutely love both of them. So today I'm going to be reviewing Aphrodite by Soki London. I have a sample with me actually. Um, and I have ordered another sample as well. So the um, the packaging of the sample is pink and then you've got the name, you've got Soki, uh, Soki London's logo, you've got the name of the fragrance as well and then on the back you've got the notes. So in this one you've got top notes of mango, middle notes of lotus um, flower and palm trees and base notes of coconut milk. And this is the sample and the size of the sample is a 1.5 ml. Um, it doesn't have like a sticker or a name or a label around it or anything like that. And I have actually ordered another sample because I want to keep exploring it, especially as the season changes. So this fragrance was uh, inspired by um, Guerlain's Coconut Fizz, but I think that Guerlain's Coconut Fizz has um, discontinued and it's not one that I've tried previously. So I won't be able to compare the two in this video, but I'm just going to talk about this fragrance. So I'm just going to spray it a little bit on my hand. And immediately, without even like bringing my hand up to my nose, it opens up on a beautiful fizzy mango note. And that fizzy mango like lasts a good couple of minutes before the, the lotus flower and the palm leaf start to come out. It actually, the initial um, mango scent feels so tropical, so fresh. And then when the lotus flower and the palm leaf come out, it becomes rejuvenating. And it also makes this a year round scent, not just a summer scent. After about 10 minutes then, you also start to feel the coconut. And I also get like a little bit of musk, um, but there's no musk in this fragrance. Well, not that it's mentioned anyway, but it kind of comes across a little bit, tiny, teeny, tiny bit musky to me. But that mango is definitely like the main player at the start. And then it nicely balances with the, the lotus flower and the palm leaves. So I would love to, absolutely love to see um, how this is in autumn and in winter as well. Obviously when I uh, tried it out, I sampled it, I reviewed it. Um, the weather was okay, like it's sunny today as well. And I just want to see like how it changes in the seasons. It Obviously it's beautifully, tropically perfect for the summer season. But I do think that you can wear it year round. I don't think it's specifically just for summer. So comparing this to Sophie's first fragrance, Empress, Empress to me was more niche. And the reason why I say that is because Empress had notes of like uh, popcorn and strawberry, which is quite specific. Um, so it's like targeted to a specific market. And that's why I mean by niche, because it's a very unique fragrance. And that's why a lot of people had like mixed reviews on Empress, because that's a fragrance that entirely depends on your preferences, whether you're going to like it or not. But this to me is slightly a bit more mass appealing, especially for the summer season. Aphrodite is very, very different to Empress, obviously. Obviously, they have different notes, but they're on completely different. Like, they have that fruity aspect, obviously, because Empress has the strawberries and this has the mango. <coughs> Sorry. But they're both um, very different. I can say that I personally think that Empress is for, like, a specific target market depending on your preferences and Aphrodite is definitely one that I can see a lot more people liking. The quality of Aphrodite as well is amazing like there's no burst of alcohol at the start it's strong um, but it's also a little bit smooth and it's a very good fragrance if you like mango and floral combinations. There is that fizz as well at the start which goes on throughout the fragrance journey. It slowly becomes less as like the other notes kick in so as the lotus and the palm leaf kind of um, not get more dominant, but blend a little bit more with the mango and the fizz, the fizz kind of starts to die down and then it becomes a lot more smoother. I personally would love to see like a bath collection in this fragrance. Like if, um, if you know Joe Loves, they have the mango Thai lime um, collection. Obviously it's different to this, but just focusing on the mango a bit here. That mango scent in the bath collection is absolutely like mesmerizing. It's so beautiful, 
so Sophie if you are watching this then definitely if you introduce like a bath collection in Aphrodite definitely like be on that list to buy some bath products to me at some points of the fragrance journey as well the scent comes across slightly citrusy which I thought was interesting so imagine like a fizzy mango mocktail um, with a dash of lime to give it that sweetness and you're surrounded by like fresh white flowers like that's the feeling I get from this fragrance it's just it's really beautifully well blended and well balanced and the combination like the creative mind behind this as well is just spot on and beautiful for summer so the coconut as well um whilst the notes say coconut milk i don't think it comes across like coconut milk it's not creamy like coconut milk it's more like the smell of grated coconut so it's not dry but it has like that certain texture to it Dry down is the juicy mango with lotus and coconut still there and the fizz definitely fading away. So overall from start to end all the notes blend really nicely together giving you a giving you a refreshing and rejuvenating tropical scent. Overall it lasts about five to six hours on my skin and I think the projection of this is also above average because as I mentioned earlier it is quite strong. So for the price you're paying I think it's just under £70. It's actually really good value for money. As I mentioned at the start, I don't think that it's just a summer scent. It's perfect for summer, obviously, and for spring. But I personally think that it can be worn all year round. And I have ordered another sample because I'm looking forward to kind of reviewing it as we um, as we enter autumn. And then if there's any left, then obviously I'll try it out in winter as well and see how it kind of compares. And maybe I might update you guys as well Um you know, trying the fragrance out in different seasons. But at the moment, I definitely think that this is like a year-round scent, not just a summer scent. So that is um, Aphrodite by Soki London. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments box below. I've got a couple of Tom Ford uh, fragrance reviews coming up soon. Definitely stay tuned to those um, and I'll see you guys soon.